This is the piano tutorial for the new Regina Spector song titled All the Rowboats. I'm going to play it first and then I'm going to teach you how to play it afterwards. The song is not too simple, but it's not too difficult either. The majority of the song is going to have four chords, which is these chords right here. We can start with a bass, I guess. So the bass with the left hand is going to go C, G, G sharp. F and then you repeat with the right hand you're going to play you're going to play the G and the C for the first two bass notes so you're going to play and then when you move the bass up to a to the G sharp, you're going to play F and C. And same thing when you play the F bass. So once again. So that repeats a few times except for one part where the piano goes and that's these four notes right here G sharp B flat G and F so then that loops a few times un until you get to the bridge which is this part right here I, we'll start with the bass. So with the left hand, the bass is going to go. That was C, then A, B, and then from D sharp down to C. So that repeats, so it'll go. Right here, you're going to play okay, it's D to D sharp to F back down to C and then after that you're going to play D sharp F G back down and then you end up on D once again. And the last bass note is G when you play. So once again, here's the bass. We'll just pay attention to the left hand. I'm going to play the right hand just so you know what parts I'm playing.
This is probably the most complicated part for this song, the bridge right here. I'll teach you the simple way to play and then the more complex way. So an easy way to play would be... Which is just two notes with your right hand. So with your right hand you're going to play G and D sharp. Like this. So you're going to play the G first and then the D sharp. So... The next part, you're going to play the A and the F with your right hand, A first, and then the third chord, you're going to play B and the G with your right hand, playing the B first. The second time, you're going to play the higher part first, so you're going to play the same two notes, we're going to play the D sharp first and then the G. So instead of playing it like this, you're going to play. So you start with the higher note. The same notes as last time. So then when you play this part, You're going to be playing G in a C with your right hand. So playing the higher note first, so G and C. Then when you get to the F note with the bass, with your right hand you're going to be playing the C and the G sharp. And then the final part. That's G and F, back and forth a few times. And then the last part. For the last part you play the G twice. And then you play D and F. G and D. G, B. And C. And you end up on a C for the last note. So once again, the final part with the right hand, G and F, back and forth, then G twice, D, F, B, D, G, B, C. So I'll play the right hand by itself this time slowly, the, the whole bridge part. Now the left hand and the right hand together. Oh, I messed up. Hold up. If you want to play it a little bit more complicated, what you're going to do is you're going to add the higher note in the right hand. You're going to play the octave note on the, on the left side. So instead of simply playing, you're going to play. Which means that the same note that you're playing on the high part up here, you're going to play with your thumb on the left side. So for example, in the first part, I'm playing G and D sharp. So I'm going to also play the D sharp down here. So 
Same thing with the next part. Right there you do the same thing, you just, you want to make it a little bit fancy or a little bit more difficult, you just play the octave. So instead of playing, you play the same note twice, one octave apart. And that's pretty much the song. <laughs> 